Tiffany's on me. I got a friend myself. Oh, I got a friend myself. Oh, I got a friend myself. My hair is not cooperating today. Cause it's said I won't cooperate today. Today, 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 today. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Do I look mad? Guys, do I look mad? If I do, don't say it. It's anti black. Hey, my hair won't cooperate. Welcome to the channel. Today we're talking about hair. Talking about hair. Well, this won't cooperate. It's very funny. Anyway, welcome to the channel. This is Life Like Bunny. I am Bunny. And if you are new to the channel, welcome. If you've been subscribed for a while, thank you. I appreciate that shit. Like, honestly, thank you. And also, I do music. Stream it on all platforms. Sticky Bunny Weird. Everywhere. Today, I've got another fucking video for you guys. Today, I am talking about hair, like I said, if you have not read the title. I want to talk to you guys about why re-relaxing your hair is not going to solve your problems and why it's legitimately a bad fucking idea. And the reason why I'm making this video is because recently on social media, there's been a resurgence of black women re relaxing their hair because they're tired of the natural hair movement. And I understand why you feel the need to do that because I was where you were at one point before I decided to free from my locks that I fucking love and I'm fucking obsessed with. But I'm just here to tell you that it's not going to help you. It's not going to solve your problem because having relaxed hair and having natural hair is legitimately the same exact work unless you change your mind thinking about it. Because the problem most black women have with their natural hair is that it's hard to manage. It's hard to manage, I'll just keep it there. It's hard to manage, they need it to be softer, blah, 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 blah. And that's fair enough. And then you try to get products to solve it and then whatever, tired of that process because it's just not working. That makes sense, yeah? But relaxing is not me, you're gonna use one product. You don't just use one relaxer, you have to find no lie relaxer. And now literally it's been linked to fucking cancer. We already knew this, right? But there's literally concrete evidence with research that's been done for however many years to prove that black women are getting cancer through these chemicals, guys. And on top of that, you're still going to deal with new growth. You're still going to have to re-relax every single fucking few months because your hair grows every two weeks, every four weeks. It's not going to be permanently fucking straight. And re-relaxing your hair is already a chore. It's already a chore. It's as much as a chore as retwisting. Choose your battles. Do you want a battle where it's naturally on from your scalp? Or do you want a battle where you're literally going to get cancer and you're bleeding through and it's like it's painful? Quite literally fucking painful. If they're equally both painful, I understand that. But you just kind of have to fucking do it. I don't know what else to say. You just kind of have to fucking do it so you don't get cancer, my darlings. Stop re-relaxing your hair. It's a bad idea. Stop going back to relaxers. And honestly, I'm not even blaming black women for this, feeling like they have to do this again. I blame fucking most of, most, I blame mostly mixed race women with curly, looser curly hair because they co-opted and took over the natural hair fucking movement black women my fucking skin tone thinking their hair is supposed to look like a mixed person no it's got white in it their their hair's got fucking white in it your hair's got only black in it so it will never act the same so why are you trying to buy creams for loose hair it's not going to work and that's why it's not because your hair is unmanageable i hate the unmanageable bit like guys i'm going to give you an example you see this is a dreadlock but at the end of it it's unbuttered it's untangled and this is 4c hair for a fucking reason this is 4c hair and it's doing this because that's what it naturally does the reason it's not melting and it's not like hurting me or anything is because i stopped fighting with it i stopped putting any creams in it because if you put some creams in it of course they're going to mat because it's dirt is the dirt follicle that your hair is trying to push away by matting on it and like forcing it out it's just simple little logic thing. And you think like, I, I can't be spending five hours fighting with a comb. Let me just go back to relax as so I can brush it. It doesn't work like that. Literally take it from me because I begged my mom to relax my hair because I thought that's what I would get. I would just comb through it and that's say No, I had to deal with finding the right person who would use the right, the relaxer properly. 
because most of these fucking aunties do not fucking care. They don't care. On top of that, trying to find somebody who's not gonna fuck up your hair. If you happen to be in a place where there's no black people, you're fucked. You're legit fucked. And even if there's black people, not all black people are educated on how to take on black hair. So you're still fucked. You can never deal with your hair on your own when it's relaxed, you're fucked. But when it's in its natural state, you can fuck up too much, as far as you can. I don't know whether the word is, what the word is called. You can't fuck up too much when it's your own hair because it knows how to repair itself. You don't know the things I've done to my hair when it's in this dreadlocked form. Like I've literally had scissors and a finger and it still was strong enough to repair itself because that's the only damage I did to it. So it's just like, okay, it's fine. But when it's relaxed and then you happen to even pull it too much, that's too much damage. It's already too brutal. Please choose the right pattern. Choose the straight, straight hair. No. Choose the natural hair battle. Please. I'm not here to say that it's simple, but it's the best battle to fight. It's better to learn. In fact, I have a video about how it takes one year to accept a flaw. If you think your 4C hair is a flaw, and that's fine. I'm not here to I'm not here to fight you about it because society has literally forced you into thinking like that. But if you think like that, give yourself a year of actively trying to work on it. I have a video that you should watch that I'm going to put out about it. And trust me. It will work and you won't see your hair as a flow anymore. You would learn. Just take it as an exam you have to pass, okay? We learned science and math. We learned physics and theoretical bullshit. So you think taking care of your hair is going to be that much harder? No, it's not. Just learn. Do not really relax your hair because you're going to have to learn how to take your relaxed hair too. It's not a cheat. I know it's more socially acceptable, but also it's not socially acceptable for your soul. Your brain hurts. I know I had straight hair. It makes you hate the texture. So. I'll stop preaching by the way because I feel like I'm going on for too long now guys. If I've missed out on anything, comment it down below because I'd like to consider other perspective. I'm not just like trying to push my opinion on you guys. I'm just, it just hurts to see people who look like me struggle, you know? It's as simple as that. So if I've said anything out of hand, I'm sorry. I don't want to make black women feel bad. I just want to make black women feel better. But with that being said, I'm going to wrap up this video. Like it, comment down any of your thoughts about hair, relaxing hair and everything. Share it, follow me on my social medias and please do not forget to stream my music and check it out. It's Sticky Bunny Weird on Spotify, Apple Music, everywhere. If you like me, you would like that shit, guys. Really, really, really appreciate your support. Thank you so much. But don't relax your hair. If you can, let him. Don't try to comment. Oh, one thing I will say guys is the biggest lie they've ever told black people or told us is that you have to comb your hair. Who combs curly hair? Why would you comb a curl? Combing a curl is literally going against the curl and then you are upset. It's meant to mat. 